choosing the right design tool can make or break your creative workflow. After spending three months extensively testing both Canva and Kittle across dozens of real projects, I'm here to give you an honest, unbiased comparison that will help you decide which platform deserves your investment. Most reviews only scratch the surface, but I've pushed both tools to their limits, tested their premium features, and discovered the real differences that matter for your creative work. Kittle's specialized artistic approach serves a completely different audience than Canva's broad social media focus. By the end of this review, you'll understand exactly which tool fits your design needs, see real side-by-side -side comparisons of key features, and know which platform offers better value for your specific use case. I'll also share honest pros and cons that other reviews won't tell you. First, we start with the most revealing test, creating the same design in both platforms under time pressure. I'm going to create a vintage coffee shop Instagram post and you'll see exactly how each platform performs. Then we open both Canva and Kittle side by side. In Canva, we begin by searching vintage coffee in the template library. We get 847 results in three seconds, so we select a template that's close to our vision. Next, we customize the text by changing it to fresh roasted daily. This takes about two minutes. After that, we add a coffee image from their stock library in 30 seconds. Finally, we apply their vintage filter effect, which takes another minute. Now we switch to Kittle and start with a blank canvas. First, we choose a vintage typography preset from their advanced text options. Then we type our text and apply their AI-powered distressed effect. This creates an authentic weathered look in just one minute. Next, we use their AI illustration generator to create a custom coffee graphic, which takes two minutes. Finally, we add texture overlays and adjust the color grading for that authentic vintage feel. Another one minute, 30 seconds. The results reveal everything. Canva produced a clean professional post in four minutes, 30 seconds that looks like thousands of others. Kittle created a completely unique artistic design at the same time that would make people stop scrolling. Same time investment, dramatically different outcomes. Now we move to a more complex test, creating a complete brand identity for a fictional vintage bookstore called Chapter and Verse. This will show us how each platform handles professional design work. First, we start with logo creation on both platforms. In Canva, we begin by using their text-based logo maker. Then we browse through 50 plus font combinations and select one that feels bookish. Next, we add a simple book icon from their library. After that, we apply a gradient background to make it pop. The result is clean and readable, but honestly pretty generic. Now we switch to Kittle for the same logo. First, we access their advanced typography tools and start with custom letter forms. Then we apply vintage distortion effects to create authentic character. Next, we use their AI to generate a unique book illustration that matches our aesthetic. Finally, we add aging effects and texture to make it look genuinely vintage. The result is distinctive, artistic, and memorable. Moving on to business cards, we continue our comparison. In Canva, we start by browsing their 200 plus business card templates. Then we select one and use drag and drop customization. Next, we apply our logo and adjust the professional layouts. The spacing is good, but we're limited in topography control. In Kittle, we begin with a custom layout using their advanced grid system. Then we create unique topography treatments that match our logo. Next, we design handcrafted elements that complement the brand. Finally, we ensure everything meets professional printing specifications. The result is a completely custom design that no one else will have. Next, we dive into the most revealing comparison, typography capabilities. I'm going to transform the word creative into a vintage poster headline, and you'll see the dramatic difference in what's possible. First, we start in Canva with their typography tools. We begin by browsing their 3000 plus font library and select something that feels vintage. Then we apply their basic text effects, shadow, outline, and curve options. Next, we adjust colors and sizing to match our vision. After that, we try to layer multiple effects to achieve an authentic vintage look. This process takes about eight minutes, and honestly, the result still looks digitally filtered rather than genuinely aged. Now we move to Kittle's typography arsenal. First, we access their AI-powered text effects library and select vintage distortion. Then we watch as the AI instantly creates authentic aging and weathering. Next, we use their advanced distortion tools to customize the letter forms. Finally, we apply professional typography controls for perfect spacing and alignment. This entire process takes just two minutes and the result looks like it was actually printed decades ago. The difference is staggering. Kittle's AI understands vintage aesthetics at a level that Canva simply can't match. Now we test how each platform handles creating a cohesive five-post Instagram series for a fitness brand. 
This shows us workflow efficiency and consistency capabilities. First, we start with Canva's approach. We begin by setting up our brand kit with colors and fonts. Then we select template variations that maintain visual consistency. Next, we use their bulk creation tools to speed up the process. After that, we add animation templates for Instagram stories. Finally, we export all five posts with consistent branding. Total time, 15 minutes for a professional looking series. Now we switch to Kittle's approach. First, we create a custom design system from scratch. Then we design unique graphic elements for each post. Next, we develop advanced layout variations that tell a visual story. After that, we maintain artistic consistency through deliberate style choices. Finally, we ensure each post is distinctive while part of a cohesive series. Total time, 25 minutes for a truly unique brand presence. The verdict, Canva wins for speed and efficiency in content series, while Kittle wins for creating a distinctive, memorable brand that stands out in crowded feeds. Next, we put both AI systems to the test with the same prompt. Create a vintage travel poster illustration for Paris. First, we start with Canva's magic design. We input our prompt and watch as it generates four layout options instantly. Then we see how it uses existing template structures and incorporates stock photos. Next, we notice how it creates a clean, modern interpretation of vintage. The result is good for quick social media content, but lacks authentic vintage character. Now we move to Kittle's AI illustration system. First, we input the same prompt and watch it create original artistic illustrations. Then we see how it understands vintage aesthetics authentically. Next, we observe how it generates completely unique graphic elements. Finally, we get print quality artwork that looks like it came from an actual vintage poster collection. The difference is clear. Canva's AI optimizes for speed and usability, while Kittle's AI focuses on artistic authenticity and uniqueness. Now we simulate a real client request. Create marketing materials for a craft brewery, logo, business cards, and social media templates. First, we start the Canva workflow. We begin with logo creation using text plus icon, which takes five minutes. Then we create business cards from a template in three minutes. Next, we design three social media templates in seven minutes. Finally, we set up a brand kit for consistency in two minutes. Total project time, 17 minutes. Client feedback, professional and clean, but looks like other breweries. Now we move to the Kittle workflow. First, we create a custom logo with vintage typography, taking 12 minutes. Then we handcraft a business card design in eight minutes. Next, we design unique social templates with custom elements in 15 minutes. Finally, we create a comprehensive style guide in five minutes. Total project time, 40 minutes. Client feedback, distinctive and memorable, perfectly captures our brand personality. This reveals the core difference. Canva optimizes for efficiency and professional results, while Kittle focuses on uniqueness uh, and artistic expression. Based on all these step-by-step -step tests, here's how to make your decision. First, ask yourself about speed versus uniqueness. Do you need to create content quickly? Choose Canva. Or stand out artistically? Choose Kittle. Then consider volume versus quality. Are you creating lots of different content types? Choose Canva or fewer high impact pieces. Kittle wins. Next, think about collaboration. Do you work with teams needing real time collaboration Canva or work independently on creative projects Kittle? After that, consider your focus. Are you creating professional business graphics Canva or pursuing artistic expression Kittle? Finally, think about your setup. Do you primarily design on mobile, Canva, or have access to desktop for complex work, Kittle? After walking through all these step-by-step -step comparisons, here's my verdict. Choose Canva if you need to create 10 plus designs per week. Work with teams requiring quick revisions, focus on social media and business content. Design primarily on mobile devices or want familiar user-friendly tools. Choose Kittle if you want every design to be distinctive and memorable, love vintage, artistic, or unique aesthetics, have time to invest in learning advanced tools, work primarily on desktop, or value creative expression over pure efficiency. The ultimate test, try both platforms with your actual project needs. Create the same design in both tools following these steps and see which result excites you more. If this step-by-step -step comparison helped you understand these platforms better, smash that like button and subscribe for more detailed practical tool reviews.
use. I test these platforms extensively so you can make informed decisions about your creative tools. Don't forget to use my discount code Mariana White if you want a 25% discount of UKittle account. Remember, the best design tool is the one that makes you excited to create. Choose based on your actual workflow needs, not just what looks impressive in demos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'll walk you through advanced techniques in both platforms step by step.